Listen, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. I had to go to many places to get you more information. And what we're talking about today is what are the soft skills that you need to have to succeed in this business? To do this, I went across my contact list and even reached out to people outside of that to get some answers. So in this episode, I am talking to some of my clients. I'm talking to creative heads in different agencies. And I'm talking to uh, basically people who work with you, the designer, and what it is that they look for in terms of skills. Because it is very important that you know what soft skills you need to possess as a designer in order to succeed in this business. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just get straight into it. I would say the soft skills that I value most in an art director, the first one would be time management. While you're great at your skill, you're brilliant at it, you also need to marry it with time. You need to be able to manage a project within the prescribed time. All briefs, all projects, all works that you do essentially are tied um, to time. They are time bound, I would say. So while you're great at your skill, you also need to consider the amount of time you're given to work on a project, on a task, on anything that you do. So for me, the two go hand in hand. For me to remember you as a great art director, you need to have been able to turn things around quickly for me. Another skill I'd speak to is communication. When you're facing challenges, communicate. If you feel like you won't be able to deliver something, on time you communicate in advance and don't wait for the last minute okay so personally i value persuasion for jedi mind tricks if you will it's your identification you don't need to see his identification we don't need to see his identification these aren't the droids you're looking for these aren't the droids we're looking for i respect the ability to sell bad or even wrong ideas as long as you're convincing. I mean, sure, there's problem solving and critical thinking, but the ability to overcome everything with BS, I just really rate that skill. It's amazing. Uh, it does depend project by project. But overall, you know, um, you don't want to have to be the creative. You are asking for someone else to be the creative. So for them to be able to communicate options is important. Above all, it's, it's, it's about passion and uh, about professionalism as well. I mean, uh, uh, it's of importance that the creative director can air their opinion as well and provide guidance and say where they think perhaps the client is going to miss an opportunity if they don't pursue an angle that's been um, proposed, you know? They, they need to be able to justify their ideas. Okay, so when I think about what soft skills I value most in a designer or art director, I think one that's worth mentioning is around cultural awareness and basically being tuned in or plugged into into pop culture from where i'm standing cultural awareness from a design perspective involves understanding the values beliefs symbols of different cultures or different aspects of a particular culture and i think it allows designers to create designs that are respectful inclusive and relevant to a diverse set of audiences. But I think incorporating cultural awareness, being plugged and tuned into pop culture, strengthens the connection between the brand in question and its audience. I think it demonstrates a deep understanding of the target demographic and their preferences, and it ultimately leads to more effective communication and brand engagement. Uh, I've done a lot of work with creatives and recruited a lot of creatives and I think I have a really good idea of the sorts of things that uh, people do in interviews that really don't, are not to their advantage. So first I'll start off with knowledge versus arrogance. There's a difference between someone who's knowledgeable and someone who's arrogant. You can be sure of yourself and understand the power 
and weight that comes with your expertise, but you have to be, you know, don't be braggadocious about it because that's something that really doesn't help you when it comes to the interview. Arrogance is not something we look for, but we do look for someone who is knowledgeable and an expert in their field. And a big, big part of that as well is being a team player. Skills can always be learned. We'd rather go for someone who is less skilled, but can advance their skill, but is a better team player. If you're not a big team player, but you're really skilled, we'd rather go for the other one. So those are the few things that I can think of that um, really edge you out in an interview. Thank you. Hey, my name is Muzik Aysom Teto. I'm the creative director at Ogilvy. The two soft skills I believe an art director should have as an essential. First being the ability to really understand and respect the role that you have. Companies pay a lot of money in order to have art directors on their teams because they play such a crucial role. So understanding how important you are, understanding that you have to do your best and you have to be at your best consistently and be able to take accountability. It's such, such, such an important thing. It's not a role that you can downplay, you know, and such. The next is the ability to, you know, to really solve ambiguity, right? Really try to make sure that all the jobs that you take on, you don't just guess or what. If you don't understand what you're supposed to do, ask. Because so much time is spent wasting time trying to understand things. If you don't understand the brief, send it back. It's that simple. I think really managing ambiguity is a very, very big role. And I believe that a good art director in general would do well with these two skills. And that's a wrap on this episode of Working Title. I want to say thanks to Angela, Ben, Jacob, Mukuka, Muzi, Tarai. Thank you so much for providing your insights. I know a lot of people will find this very valuable. If you found any value in this video, uh, I would appreciate you checking out all of the previous videos. I know I changed my hair, but the nuggets are still there. So you can check those out and then you can also re-watch this one as many times as you need because it's going to be here on the internet forever so until the next episode make sure you subscribe like this video if it has brought any value to your career and i'll see you next time